All right, hey folks, I'm Ryan Shanahan. Welcome to Rex Board Education. Joining me today is Sarah. And on this on the spot series, we're putting the mole freckle pen on the spot. This is a, a second addition to our um, our series on where we're basically doing an unscripted product review. The first one I did was on the extendable bow staff, which wasn't very much of a bow staff. Um, it was more of an expandable baton or a wand or anything. Anyway, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about this mole pen. Um, we've actually tried this already. We've tried it once. We wanted to, to see you know, what we were getting into and weren't really prepared to do it on film the first time. That probably would have been hilarious. So. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about what this thing does. This is basically uh, it's for, well, moles, freckles, and I mean, what else, uh, Sarah, what were your thoughts on it? Um, skin tags. Skin tags, right, yeah. So we actually removed a couple of skin tags from ourselves, right? And uh, we tried it on a few, um, uh, well, let's see, did you try it on a mole? I did. Okay, yeah. we did one mole, yeah. and uh, a bunch of different freckles. And, um, well, I wanted to see if there was a product out there that would deal with these things. Um, I, I just, you know, I noticed I had a few darker freckles on my arm and legs and uh, back and chest, and I wanted to see if I could get rid of them, and I found this product online. So here we are giving it a try for you, the people. <laughs> So hopefully this goes well um, today as well. I'm going to show you what's inside. Um, why don't you show them the product first? Yep. This little it's spot of hell. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with these acupuncture needles that attach to it. Uh, they, well, they, they're optional. It also has these other attachments you can see. This uh, fine tip pen. Drop it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, there's the charger in your right hand as well. And but yeah, just just should hold that up for us so we can see that. Yeah. So yeah, really fine tip points, and they have an even finer one too. There you go. Really fine this tip. Is that one really fine? I think this one's extra fine. <laughs> I think this one's more, but um, yeah, it comes with a few different attachments, um, as well as these acupuncture needles. Now, these are important for certain kinds of work that you want to do, because this will actually remove tattoos as well, um, which is what, what we've been told and read on the instructions. But we don't have any to show you. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we don't have any. <laughs> now, the instructions that came with it, I found particularly interesting because they were written for English people, but they were almost non-comprehensible. They were written for English people, but not by English-speaking people. Right, right. And it was very, very bad English. Um, laughable, really. So um, it, it's one of those things, that's one of those situations where you, you're looking at instructions for this product that it is intended to cause you some damage to, to the, the skin. And you're wondering, I don't know if I should trust these people because the English is so bad. I'll put up a, a, a photo of that in, in this shot so you can take a look at what we're talking about. But um, after, let's see, so after we got past that, we got an idea of what to do with it. We went ahead and went right at it. How did that go? I, I didn't like it at all. I have to go over <clears> a couple more on myself as well. Well, uh, we're going to do some for you today as well. I'm going to show you a before and after picture by the end of this video as well. So stick with us. I'm going to torch these off of his back. Okay. It's not going to be very pleasant, but we're going to do it. All right. And then what about yours? Oh, joy. Okay. We're going to tackle what, three today? Yeah. Okay. So these three, the... Um, uh, the Belt of Orion, here, is what I like to call it. That's fantastic. <laughs> right. So right there on her arm, uh, some, some got some freckles there, and we're going to see if we can knock those right out. So you'll be seeing this, and then uh, the during the healing process, and then after. Hold the button down, and tap it for the settings that you want. 
So what do you think of these? Well, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I'm going to say probably a seven for these. Okay, that's rough. All right, it's going to be a little bit. How high does it go? Uh, I forgot. Hold on. Let's see here. So up to a nine. So we can go up to a nine, and we're going to do a seven to get to get these off, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to bring it in just a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm just going to try my best not to move. I'm going to sit here and, and be as still as I can and just let her go at it. <laughs> now I've got to figure out how to turn off the light. There we go. Okay, we're up to a seven. And to actually zap it, you need to press this out button and hold it. Touch it to the skin. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. So we're going to zoom in just a little bit. So you can actually see the little sparks that are going. Oh, the sparks are actually coming out pretty good on this thing. <laughs> With that setting. Well, you can really smell it too. Uh, it's like burning the flesh. Yeah. If anyone's ever zapped a fly with that, you know, tennis racket thing, you'll know what it smells like. <laughs> ah. So it, it is a little bit painful. I'm, I'm not going to say it's absolutely terrible. But it is what I like to, I, I've been able to call it extremely uncomfortable it is the best way I can explain it. Extremely uncomfortable. Oh, here's a view from that to the other ones. Now the other ones we've touched on before. This one we've touched on before, so we're just going over it again. Right, because that one was a mold before, right? Yeah. Like a skin tag or something. Mm -hmm. And so we burned off the top layer, and so we just got to get the rest underneath the skin to get the pigment out to go away. So now we're just going to go over a red spot first before we go over the other one again. I'm going to try and give incremental breaks and not go over the same spot over and over and over again. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, now, because yeah. we are actually burning the skin, these will stab over and uh, they will eventually fall off and we just want to let them heal on their own. Uh, this is the instruction that we saw from other online videos as well. That you just want to want it to scar over or to scab over, and then let that heal. You don't pick at the scab or scratch it because it will scar. And uh, once it falls off, it'll heal on its own. A little commercial here for our little baby. You can follow her on Instagram at you underscore got underscore squished. You got squished huh? on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. We call her Squish because she's our little squishy. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, well, she just jumped off. Huh? They will be pretty red around it and sore for the next couple days, especially getting out of the shower when you're trying to towel dry. Be careful. <laughs> damp, damp towel or just pat it, pat it dry. Yeah, but on your back is going to be a little bit tricky, but yeah. And I'm going to put. Um, some some salve on that, some uh, antibiotic cream, like a, like a neosporin, and a band-aid as well, um, just to keep it clean and so that it heals nice and smoothly, and um, it should uh, prevent it from uh, scarring over. Right. Should we try it? Yeah. <laughs> Joy. Right, I'm gonna get some salve on this first, and then we'll put a band-aid on. We'll come back right back. Okay, I'm all bandaged up. 
Uh, are you ready? <laughs> as ready as I'm ever going to be. Okay, well, let's uh, take a look here. Now, Sarah usually likes the setting to be a little bit lower. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try a five. Ooh. Five is usually what you, but actually, so it, it is It is said that uh, you're supposed to use certain settings for certain um, extent of pigmentation. So if you have a really deep or dark one, uh, big ones, uh, those are, need to be done at a higher voltage. But ones like this, maybe, maybe five is probably okay. So you see here on the camera, I've got a five. And I'm going to turn this toward me so I can see what you're seeing. And there we go. So I'm going to try this on these spots. And we're going to get um, uh, some different reactions here. I'll just uh, give you a start. I'll start the, with the one far on the right. It feels like little pinpricks constantly. This is actually really neat because actually I, I, it looks like some of the pigment is coming right off. And I'll, I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Oh, little darling. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see the one I started here, and I'm just going to pick out a little bit more. Ooh. And I want to get in there and make sure that it's all completely covered. This is where it starts to hurt. But I think that's, that's pretty good. I think we got it. Nice. Okay, this stinks. <laughs> yeah, it smells a little bit. All right, let's try this, uh, this other one. This one's a little darker than the others. It's actually kind of cool to watch when it's being done on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't have this opportunity before. Oh, that's really cool. So it looked like Ouch. I just uh, burnt the top layer of skin off and a good portion of that Ooh. pigmentation came with it. So um, I think this one's going to come out really nice. <laughs> oh. Jeez. All right. <laughs> you know, that's uncomfortable. Let's see the last one here. Everyone's, if anyone has been slapped in the face with a horse tail, it feels like that a hundred times in the same spot. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'll just shut that off now. There we're good. Let me take you off here. You can get a close up view. What that looks like, oh baby. <laughs> Sleepy puppy. <laughs> and here is the uh, belt of Orion. <laughs> and um, those are gonna scab over and uh, they should be able to they should heal up on their own pretty good. We'll we'll see what happens in the next. Okay, so we want to get a close-up of a couple of other ones on me. I'm gonna show you some on my arm. Um, Oh yeah, go ahead and bring that, bring that on over here. And what um, I want to show you first is I had I've had a couple of of uh, larger uh, ones here on my forearm. I've had these two um, all my life, 
and I, I burned them off about a month ago. And you can see now it's just some reddish skin, so it's, it's like more newer sensitive skin. It's still healing. And in some cases, we're told that it can take upwards of six months to fully heal and look and look like normal skin again. So I'm actually really happy with this. They were very dark um, skin, skin pigments or freckles that I've had since birth. And um, it's uh, kind of neat to have them, have them gone and seeing that process of it healing and, and disappearing. Um, I had a couple others here that were also dark. So this is much like what was on my other arm. Um, but they were darker than this and bigger, uh, just like the, the, the other arm. Um, so what, these two have been done once before, um, and this one up here, and they're a lot lighter now than they were. You can see they are, they are fully healed now. Um, it's been about, I don't know, a month? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe a month and a half. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. So we're going to do these again and see what happens. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really uncomfortable. Ah. This time it seemed to work. The yeah. coloring seemed to come. Oh yeah, the coloring came off that time. Mm. That was um that also smelled really, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, again, that one was really, really nice. It just rolled right off. You can see that's going to scab up really good, too. And then we got the one more up on the bicep. This one's kind of hurt. This one's sensitive skin, you know. Oh, yeah. Extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not agonizing, but it is <clears throat> painful. Well, it looks like that worked really well this time as well. Um, all right, so we'll put some sand on it. It's uh, some Neosporin and an antiseptic. It keeps it clean. It also keeps it moist so that the skin heals evenly without, uh, without scarring too much. Hopefully not scarring at all. Well, that's it for now. Anyway, we're going to come back in a, in a little bit and finish filming the after shots. So you'll see the progression of the healing and what it looks like in its final stages. So uh, this is probably one of the longest in-making films I've done <laughs> since I started this channel and my other channel. All right, well, it's been several weeks. I actually lost track. I don't even remember how long we had it, but uh, it has been several weeks. We did uh, document it as best we could, um, trying to remember every few days or so to uh, get those, um, those pictures in so that you can see the, the progression of it as it heals. Um, what do you think? Well, I definitely recommend it. Mine are pretty much gone. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend it too. Um, I, I, another thing to just reiterate is that uh, you could go to a doctor and pay over a thousand dollars to have this same kind of treatment done, um, and it would sometimes need uh, a second round as well, just as I've experienced with this. Sometimes you have to do it two or even three times, and it can take up to six months or more to fully heal and have the the, the scabbing or scarring to blend in finally or fade into the rest of your skin pigmentation so that it will look normal. But um, I'm actually really satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any thoughts on that?
hurt, but no, it's worth it. It really does hurt, right? <laughs> you are burning your skin, and it does smell like burnt flesh. Yeah, do it by you... a window. Don't do yeah. it, you know, with a, up. Yeah, with a fan maybe going away from you, something like that. Yeah, and away from other people, definitely. <laughs> it does smell bad. Um, let's uh, take a look at what we have today. Um, the results, right? So I'm actually really impressed with yours. I, I couldn't even see yours uh, this morning when I was looking to see if, you know, if it's a good time. I, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a close up. No. All right, so here's a little squish. She's a lot bigger now. Last time you saw her, but here is the results. Sarah's arm. We had three. Uh, I called it the the Orion's belt, I think. And you can't even see where they were. I'm not even sure. So, very very nice, right? Very sensitive. Yeah, it kind of shows how long it's really been. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. And then on myself, I'll let Sarah take over. Now we did on the inner arm here. So you can see the scarring here, but this is going to fade. I had this one as well. It looks like this one will need another round. This one I actually did again um, since the uh, recording of our first video, so it's a little bit um, a little bit more raw looking. But these will fade, uh, and it, and at least um, even if they didn't, uh, this is still a lot lighter than it was with the deep freckling before. And the camera makes it look a little bit darker than what it really is. Yeah. Um, I'll show you something else. I had two uh, marks here from birth. These were both very dark. Um, I did this one a second time just about a week ago, so it's still uh, healing. But the other one is practically gone. I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. It was very, a very dark and large uh, freckle. So, there, there you have it. That pretty much covers our review. I, I think it's a really good investment if you do have uh, some some dark pigmentations that you'd like to, to remove. This is definitely a much easier and less expensive way to go than going to a doctor and doing it with a laser. It's going to do the same thing. It's still burning the skin to burn away that extra melanin. Well, it also works on large raised moles. It's worked on a couple of mine too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got rid of a couple of skin tags too. And they're almost completely gone. I, I have no um, additional markings or scarring at all to worry about, so I'm pretty satisfied. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, what was it, $15, $20, yeah. I think, for this, for this item, so pretty cool. All right, well, I guess that's it for today's review. Thanks for sticking around and watching to the end. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and share it with a friend. Um, what do you think, Sarah? Anything else? <laughs> If you want, go follow Squish at You Got Squished on Instagram and Perfect. Facebook. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to get that up. Got lots of fun pictures of her growing up. So Let's see. She's about five months old now. Yeah. Little cutie. All right. Kind of a terror. <laughs> Little monster. Super cute monster. <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, hey, and let us know in the comments if there's other items you'd like us to review. See ya.